Hey, what's up guys? Norman here, and today I'm gonna to be making ahi tataki. So all that tataki means is to sear. So it could either be fish or beef, and it's just uh, lightly seared. So this ahi tataki is actually a remake of the best ahi tataki that I've ever had. So uh, this place is a restaurant in Kalihi in Hawaii, and it's called, the place is called Ethel's. And I've never had any ahi tataki better than, than this restaurant. This is something that I like to do. I just like to go to all these places, eat whatever they're known for, and try to, sometimes I'll try to recreate it at home. So this is, this is, uh, this is it. This dish is very easy, very fast to make. All you need is ahi, bean sprouts, sesame oil, soy sauce, and garlic. That's, that's all you really need. Uh, I put red cabbage and radish sprouts. This is just for garnish, but you don't need to have that in the dish. All right, so let's get into it. So we're gonna start with a hot pan, a little bit of oil, and we're gonna see our ahi lightly on every side. And here we have some red cabbage. Well, we're just gonna get some thin slices. And this is radish sprouts. You could find them in the Asian supermarket. We're just gonna pick these off and give it like a quick rough chop. All right, and now we're gonna slice this beauty. And just gonna give our ahi a quick shape. And I've made the sauce already, so we're ready to plate. So for the sauce, what I actually did, I ended up buying the sauce from Ethel's itself and I tried to recreate it. So one of my foodie chef friends, uh, my, my friend Josh, like he told me what he did was, to get it really close was, he just put sesame oil, soy sauce, and cut garlic chips as thin as you can and gave that a light fry and that's all he did and I tried it and it, it, it worked very very well it came out like pretty pretty close I did about two parts soy sauce one one part sesame oil if you guys want me to make a video about that then leave a comment in the comment box and I'll make a quick video for that as well so for plating we're gonna start with fresh bean sprouts and then we're gonna lay our ahi right on top of that. Our red cabbage and our radish sprouts. We're gonna take our garlic chips from our garlic sesame soy sauce and lay that on top. And we're just gonna spoon over some of that sauce. I'll try and remind myself to get a bigger spoon next time. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more garlic chips because these are hella bomb. And right before serving, we're just gonna add a little bit more sesame oil on the top. And bam, that's it. It's done. It's pretty easy. So this dish came out like pretty excellent. The only thing that I wish I could have was better, better tuna because this is, this is tuna that I bought out here. I live in Vegas now, but Hawaii just has like excellent, excellent tuna quality. So uh, 
I kind of just wish that I got to try my take on it, not from Ethel's, but with Hawaii good tuna. So I guess I'll, I guess I have to try it next time. Next time I go back to Hawaii, I'll try to make it myself. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and you guys should definitely give this this recipe a try. It's it's awesome, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.